This video will walk you through the setup icons for the ISO 6 control system. These are the primary icons that will be displayed during the initial startup of the implement. Icons on this screen can be added, removed, or changed to best suit your needs. Starting from the upper left, we have the Modules Setup icon. The Modules Setup icon will show you all of the Dickie John modules that are currently seen on the network along with the corresponding address and serial numbers. This screen is also where you can change the module addresses or replace modules when changing them out. Next, we have the System Setup icon. In this screen, you will select the system harness configuration in the drop-down menu. And you will see the available feature key unlocks that are on this specific ISO 6 master module. You can also scale the UT mask size to accommodate various UT displays, as well as move the UT to a different terminal if multiple displays are being used on the same machine. The next setup icon is the rows icon. This is where you will enter the number of rows on the implement as well as the row spacing. Once it's been entered, the calculated implement width will be displayed. Here we have the control setup icon. This is where you will set up the implement control channels for the machine being configured. You can set up the number of channels as well as their type and respective setup parameters. More details about setting up control channels can be found in our implement setup videos. The Operation Setup icon is where you can visually see the implement's current operations, as well as the control channels that are assigned to each operation. In the event an operation has an incorrect control channel, you can modify that operation in this menu. You also have the ability to apply a custom name to each operation if desired. The Material Setup icon is where you will set up all of your specific materials for your application. You can save up to 16 different materials in this page. Each material can be modified to have its own unique name, alarm parameters, and threshold settings. You can have up to four preset configurations if desired, which will save specific material and channel assignments, so switching material types is fast and easy. As an example, a two-channel planter with two hydraulic motors controlling seed application can be assigned the same planter control material as shown in this example. Row patterns for split row planters are also saved for each configuration. Next, the clutch and liquid section setup icons are where you can set up assignments for planter roll clutches and liquid shutoffs if their machine is equipped with the relevant shutoff hardware. Further setup details on the clutch and liquid sections are provided in additional tutorials. The geometry setup icon is where you will enter all of the implement dimensions and material discharge locations to ensure proper section shutoffs and GPS documentation in the display terminal. These dimensional settings are saved in the ISO 6 module and sent to the display terminal in the cab upon implement connection. The Sensor Setup icon is where you will assign population or blockage sensors to the machine. Sensor inputs and modules will be configured here to ensure all sensors are assigned to the correct locations on the implement. Further details are provided in the Sensor Setup tutorial. The Accessory Setup icon is where you will set up all accessory inputs, such as air pressure sensors, hopper sensors, or RPM sensors. Each sensor has the ability to have its own functional parameters, as well as names to help you easily observe the critical functions of your machine. The Instrument Setup icon is where the work screen can be customized to show the desired information, such as population bar graphs, product levels, area counters, and much more. Up to four separate work screens can be configured, so you can change between them if different layouts are desired. Finally, the work screen icon is where you will enter the ISO 6 work screen. This is the screen you will operate the system from and monitor all of the configured parameters and sensors on the machine. For more detailed information into some of these setting configurations, see our full suite of informational videos and tutorials online at dickey-john.com.